Oh my gosh, it's me again, Vicki, and I just recorded my other video, which will probably show up after this video because it seems like they upload backwards, or I upload them backwards. Anyway, I have to show you my uh, purchase that I made from Buttons and Badges. This is the little card they put in, and I saw this over on uh, Crafting Kate's channel and if you go to etsy.com and type in buttons and badges this will come up but look at these cute little things i mean like i got 50 of them i just got i wanted to check them out first you know so i just got like the uh, a mix of 50 buttons was 12 bucks under 15 was shipping. Look. How cute. Oh, gosh. Cute, right? Cameras. There's an overview, guys. Again, that's Buttons and Badges on Etsy.com. She has a coupon code and, uh, gosh, what was it? Again, I found out about them by way of Crafting Kate, her channel. Okay, guys, I wanted to share a few layouts that I put together in the past few weeks. Um, this layout here was kind of inspired by Julie Fafan Bowser, who is the young lady on Scrapbook Soup. I just love her style of scrapbooking. This was a stab at doing something in her style. I did not necessarily, like, scrap lift this off of one in particular layout that she's done, but uh, it's more of a mix of a few of her layouts. And I am going to leave you a link below to her YouTube channel and I would if you like a real artsy layout gosh I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for she does a very I, I know mixed media artsy type of scrapbook layout I encourage you to google her name and I'll leave that below for you, too, because she does amazing scrapbook layouts. It's a very different style than I do. Well, it's very artsy and very refined. I love her style. And anyway, long story short, I tried to do a layout with her in mind. And this is what I came up with. Remember my little New Year's resolution about I'm going to remember all my products and all that? No. Well, since I got bit by this flu or whatever it is, I'm going to cancel that resolution for a while. But I'll return to my Remember the Products You're Using Vicky so you can share them with your YouTube friends soon. As soon as I feel better. Because some of these layouts I did several days ago up to two weeks ago. Anyway, here's what I can remember off of this layout. And here's the products I used. The clock up there I cut out of uh, a die cuts with a view stack. 
and I think it's called Tattered Time. It's apparently a new stack, and if I can, I will put the name either below or here in the video for you. Behind it, you'll see right here, right, well, let me get my pencil. Right there, you'll see a Remember This. Now, that's stamped on there. I could not tell you what the stamp set is called. This I know. See where it says, Dear Eric? That is a stamp I use often, Quinn's Alphabet by Lawn Fawn. Y'all know what these are. The little film strips are the Tim Holtz little decorative film strips you get into that, you get in that tin. I believe this little stamp right here of the hand, I think that is Seven Gypsies. You'll see behind his picture, like this little number here, this red paper or it looks like a red blob on film. That is just what it is. It's a red blob of paper, and I don't have a clue why I put it there. Um, this little key I cut out from that Die Cuts with a View Tattered Time stack. The You'll see along here, that is a uh, Ali Edwards Christmas stamp. I went around the edge of my picture with my Signo Uniball Gel Broad Marker because it just was getting lost in the um, layout. The camera is also... It's from a little stamp. And I, oh gosh, it's like a singular stamp. It says smile below it. And I believe that is uh, GC Studios or whatever it's called. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't remember the names of this. This little typewriter tore out of the same die cuts with a few paper stack. Uh, that ribbon is from Joanne's. This right here ribbon Joanne fabrics the green organza ribbon rosette ribbon is from Laura's vintage garden the beads I bought from uh, the beads I bought from Joanne fabric years ago as I did the little heart buttons I just took an old debit card and used some paint here, watered down paint, to put that beige in. That's my stove. I'm self-cleaning my oven, guys, so it's not the fire alarm or, you know, any kind of air raid warning or anything. Uh, I'll just get up and turn it off as soon as I'm done with this video. Anyway, I used some uh, folk art red acrylic paint here and stamped my camera stamp into the paint. Those little, uh, the bread there, the stocking is from Eyelet Outlet, and I think I got that from Simon Says Stamp. Let's move in here. This stamp is from, it's a Unity stamp little button from my stash, the crossword puzzle actually is from that same die cuts with a view uh, paper pad which is I did a video on that paper pad so if you could want to go back a few videos and I shared the paper pad with you washi tape couldn't tell you oh seven gypsies and you'll see I randomly stamped the little typewriter stamp on the back. It reads, Dear Eric, I think I probably love you too much. 
mom. And see, love. And two is from some little alphabet stickers that I had. Anyway, I hope this just gives you an idea of maybe a different way to scrapbook or to give it a try. I don't know. This is my favorite. Oh, that beeping's going to drive me nuts. This is definitely not my favorite page ever, but I just had to try the way that she does her scrapbook layouts. I, and I certainly didn't even copy it well, but Where's the inspiration in this? Maybe it'll make you think, I'm going to do just one 12 by 12 scrapbook page that is not my own style. And see what happens. I had fun doing this. I really did. It's just, like I said, I sure didn't do it like she does. And I got another page in the scrapbook albums at the end of the day. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm trying to keep my videos short so they'll upload quicker. I'll be back with more layouts. Love y'all.